All right, everybody, this is Planet Walls with another daily challenge. It's Splunky. I don't know what date it is, but we have a special guest here to tell us what date it is. This is my college roommate. He was the best man at my wedding. His name is Phil. Hello. Say hi, Phil. Hi. So, Phil, I don't believe you've played this game before, have you? Maybe you've watched it? I don't know. I've seen it. I've never played it. Okay, well, you can just ask me questions and be as entertaining as you always are. Uh-huh. Phil is like a combination of Alec Baldwin from uh, uh, 30 Rock and uh, Hank Hill. Except not nearly as dapper. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this guy with the blue ears. We still need to play... Uh, that guy looks like a furry, and I feel like I want to embody that mentality right now. Um, so daily I, I, challenge... Yeah, go ahead, Phil. I don't know how you embody a furry when you're just talking. I guess that's what furries do. All they do is embody the, the animals. This is already a shitty level. We, like, can't get any of those gems over there without blowing a bomb, and there's a dog just trapped in that hole. I How really want to get, get into that dog hole. You have to blow up, uh, use a bomb to get in there. But Well, no, how did he get in there? Um, well, you're only looking at the world from two dimensions, see? Um, he must have just walked in from the side. That's my theory. But why doesn't he just walk back out? He's an idiot. He's not a very smart dog. Um, God... Stupid spiders. So this level is getting off to a bad start, but that's okay. Basically, the way that the daily challenge works, which is what we're doing, is that everyone has the same seed for the, uh, what's it called, uh, procedurally generated levels. So everybody has the same shitty level to start out with for today. And that's what so gives this game a competitive element, as it were. So what's the actual objective? Uh, to get as high a score on the leaderboards as possible, which is solely based on the amount of gold you have. Oh, I see. So I could die earlier than other players and have more gold, and that would be like I did better. If you touch spikes, actually not if you touch spikes, but if you fall on spikes, you're dead. In one hit, no matter what. I could have like a million health, and I would just die. Then it would be over. Um, so like I'm kind of nervous about walking around those. That level sucked, we're getting out of here. How's the uh, connection? Connection's fine. Okay, I'm gonna rehydrate here with some Pepsi. Pepsi Cola. Mmm, ice cold. It's a little free advertisement there. How do you know Pepsi isn't paying us? Don't you They're think clearly, they would spend money? Clearly not money? paying me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Maybe you would know something about that. Okay, there's a jetpack in this guy's store. Um, we're going to get that. Even if it means we kill ourselves. Now, there's a way that you're supposed to be able to kill a shopkeeper. These shopkeepers are real dicks. You can kill them by standing right next to them. I'm going to try it. I could, like, lose right here. If... I'm going to fuck it up if I do that, because I might accidentally pick up the shitty web gun. What I'm trying to say is I'm being indecisive right now, but this is going to cause a world of trouble. Oh, he's okay. pissed. He's pissed. I'll say he is. Ah! He's coming back! <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess we take this shitty camera. This item sucks. God, is he gonna fuck- Oh! <laughs> Can you kill him with the camera? Uh, I can't. It'll stun him briefly. Oh. Uh, ah! Okay, okay. Never mind, he shot himself out of there. I'm kind of nervous about this. There's all sorts of shit to do in this level, too. And if you stay in for two and a half minutes, a ghost comes and is a real dick. And kills you in one hit if it touches you. So we'll just go back up this way and just pretend that guy isn't there. That's sort of what my new plan is. Um, it's a bad plan. We're probably going to have to deal with him in a minute. Uh, and also I have to go back up and get a stupid rock to throw down and block that arrow trap. Or to set it off in a controlled demolition. Like this. Yeah, there we go. That's sweet. So what Steam games do you play? Uh, Hotline Miami, and that's about it. So, should I play that? Yes. Okay, I will then. I'll just listen to you on that front. Um, it's 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 the most violent 2D game I've ever played by by a long margin. Well, I'll have to see how that goes then. That is a and, huge and I've, selling And I've point. never said fuck more in my life than while playing that game. Really? I've yes. said fuck a lot while playing this game, but oh shit, I just. Now I've got this machete. I could try to kill that shopkeeper with a machete. I don't know, we'll see. When I blow up this area, there's going to be a, uh, 
a pickaxe under there, and we can play some Minecraft for a little bit. Um, so I'll do that. And let's take this gentle dog over here. Where is the uh, shopkeeper? Oh, there he is. Um, oh, his back's to you. Uh, but now the ghost is coming. Okay, so everything is shit right now. Like, we have to basically navigate around this D-bag. And I don't know if it looks framey for you, but for me, when I'm recording and playing this game at the same time, it starts getting seriously framey whenever the ghost comes out, and it's awful to deal with. Yeah, the frame rate is just awful. Yeah, but they don't know on YouTube. That's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, I feel I'm like we should worried. make it artificially. Oh fuck! Artificially drop the frame rate just so, just so everybody. Ah! Can ah! Her. We just died. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> I can't believe he like made it into that hole. Um. Okay, well, so we just sucked some serious ass. We, now, it may, you may say, oh, you're a 98th place? That's pretty good. But this daily challenge was just released 50 minutes ago. So that's pretty oh, bad. So that's probably out of, like, 98 people. Yeah, yeah, probably something like that. Probably, like, 200 max. Um, so that was pretty poor. I do like how on the character, though, that I just played as, he's got, like, a two-day beard. <laughs> even though he's wearing, like, that outfit. Um I'm just drinking some uh, ice cold Coca Cola Classic, and uh, I guess it up. yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm double fisting. So I, I guess I guess we'll play like uh, some other round to basically, you know, make it worth you YouTubers' while. Um, who should I play as? Clearly the other furry. This guy. Yeah. I feel like he's an Aboriginal person. An aboriginal furry? <laughs> An aboriginal fear. I almost said fury. That would be kind of exciting. What should I do? Should I intentionally start off on a later level and just try to win the game? It's really hard to do because you have no items and it's like fucking impossible. We'll do that. I'll start off on uh, the ice caves. I'll probably just die a million times. Everything here like just explodes and kills you. Oh, son of a bitch. Ah! So do each of these characters have some sort of special power to them? No. That was fast. The special power that all of them have is that you die very easily. Um, okay, there's... Uh, you couldn't hear that, but a bunch of shit just exploded when a Yeti walked over a landmine. I mean, that's something that probably happens where you live. You live in the Seattle area, right? Yes. Are you still living in the same apartment as before? No, you I moved. Give your address away to the people on YouTube? No. <laughs> um, oh, son of a bitch! Okay, well, we died again. What are you talking about? I was I meant to do that. Do you ever watch Eureka's Castle? I did when I was really little. I, I always had this, was. Yeah, I had go that ahead. Dragon fellow. I had like a little rubber puppet from Pizza Hut when I was real little. That's kind of cool. I I didn't have anything like that, but I remember the show being on TV, and I remember there was that bat character that always used to say, "I meant to do that," and I remember like. I used to hate that character for some reason, and then one time I just also said I meant to do that, and I started doing it as like a little kid. I don't know. Basically, the story is going nowhere. Batley. 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 What a jerk! What the? Oh, this is bad news. Jesus! <laughs> that Yeti looks awesome. I know. <laughs> ah! He's got a. For, he's got a seriously groomed uh, mustache for. A wild animal. I know. Well, animal. how do you know he's not an intelligent creature? Just like everything else in this game, except for maybe that little UFO critter. Yeah, those things are dicks. Um, God, this dog. It looks so stupid. That's the best part about it. Like, it looks like a dumb dog. And I... Like it, like it has certain uh, mental... It, its mental <laughs> facilities aren't, aren't aren't quite up to up to snuff. Yeah, that's exactly how it's like illustrated too. Am I gonna win this shotgun? That's awesome. I just gambled and won oh. a shotgun. I'm just having my way with this guy. Okay. Um. Yes. So, um, in Seattle. When Phil and I first got there, I helped him move in, and we got to his apartment, and the first thing we saw when we pulled into his parking garage 
was a couple of, I don't know, 20 somethings, early 20 somethings. Never mind, maybe I shouldn't say this on YouTube. Let's just end the story there and let everybody speculate. I don't even remember this. Oh, I wait, do. yes, I do. Ah! We died. Um, I screeched like a pterodactyl. <laughs> um, this is something I should fix. Would you believe that I actually taught a class today? Would you believe that somebody is paying me to do that after watching this shit? I'm gonna die. Son of an ass. God. I, I'm perpetually, like, constantly in fear and have a secret desire that my students will watch me do this. I think it'll make them respect me a lot more. Sounds like some sort of weird fetish. It's... yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm sure it is. I'm sure there's a name for it. Um, probably just gonna have some trouble when I go down here. Nope, I'm still alive. Uh, 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 yeah. that, that seems unfair. Those... whatever those creatures are, they, uh... They can shoot their ice things at the wall and each other, but they don't die. But if it hits you... Well, they're immune to them because they're warm. They're woolly mammoths. That's my logic, anyway. Um, I, I don't really know. Uh, so tell me more about Hotline Miami. Because now I'm strongly cons... Oh, you're, you're totally <laughs> fucked there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm strongly considering purchasing this game. So, basically, it's... It, it, it's it, I almost get into a rhythm when I play it. It's it's got like electronic music that plays and 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 it's all melee and you uh, you sort of aim with your mouse and you run up to a guy and you hit it. Well, there's there's also there's guns too, but um, each of these guys they they come at you and uh, you die in one hit unless you have certain masks on. Um, <laughs> wait, wait. So it's like 2D and you see from above, right? Yeah, that's what I've yeah. heard. How? What do masks look like? Uh, I, I don't really notice a whole lot of difference between the masks, uh, but they do different things. Like, one of the masks does nothing, um, and there's an achievement for beating the game with just using that mask. Uh, but each time, essentially, you wear the masks because you're doing, um, I don't know, you're, you're running into these buildings and killing everybody. And that's the whole point, is you just kill everybody. Um, and... These guys, it's its its the most frustrating thing ever, because you'll think they won't see you, but all of a sudden they're on you and they just kill you. It, it, it's just, like, awful sometimes. So is it, like, so it's a top-down shooter? Yeah, shooter, but you mostly use melee weapons, because, I don't know. Does it have, like, guns, puzzle game elements to noise. it, or is it more like... I would, I would almost say the whole game's a puzzle game, just figuring out how to deal with all these okay. guys without dying, because when you die, you start right at the beginning of the level again. And each each life, does it last, like, 30 seconds, or does it last, like... Oh, God, it usually lasts, like, three seconds. Okay, unless, good. Unless you beat the level, and then it's, like, ten seconds. Okay, for sure. You just, sort of, you just sort of run in there, and you, you're like, hit, 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 and then it's, like, either level cleared or fuck. Is, does it have a lot of replayability? Um, I don't know. I haven't beaten it yet. Okay. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll play this and record myself doing it. Is there a multiplayer? No. That's okay. I... It, it's it's gone on sale a number of times for like two fifty, so just yeah. wait wait until it's on sale. Ah! That was close. Uh, your your screams with with this uh, screen sharing, your screams are like a second. Are they and delayed? A half. Oh yeah, but no, the, the, uh -oh. the video is delayed. <laughs> oh, it just crushed my fancy tool. Hang on. <laughs> Incidentally, it? fancy tool is my 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 name for uh, my arm. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, god damn it. Let's get the hell out of this level. That was close. Uh, yeah. Is traffic still as bad coming out of your apartment? Um, not really. I'm not near the interstate anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. Yeah, you seem fine there. Why, why did that guy have a dollar sign over his head? He's a slave. Oh. That this this game is promoting uh, human trafficking. I know it is. Should be banned. Oh, how he did you survive died. that? Uh, it's all about timing. Th these slaves are so stupid. For sure, he's gonna murder himself on the final boss here. Well, this is like the first boss. There's another secret boss. Uh, all Mac. It's. I'm assuming that's in reference to Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah, it probably is. I mean, it's an actual like society. 
in Mesoamerica. Watch this. God, this guy I'm with, he's gonna just fucking kill himself. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he was just crushed. So how do you kill him? Uh, there's lava underneath and you have to platform here as he spawns enemies. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, we made it out of there. Somehow. Um, see if there's anything good up here to help us stay alive. Uh, I just knocked those ropes off the cliff like a dummy, but that's okay. Um... Wait, wait, did you look up to get the camera to go up? Yeah, you can do that. I mean, How not old the top of Mario. Screen. Yeah, I know. Oh, cool, a teleporter. This is, like, for sure the best way to kill myself, because you can totally, like, Star Trek yourself into a solid object and die instantaneously. Ugh. I don't know how that looks when you're, like, screen sharing through Team Viewer halfway across the uh, continent. Why are we not using something like Justin TV or Twitch or I don't know some other game sharing. Software. I mean, I suppose we could be. Um, that would work. That would probably work a hell of a lot better. Yeah, Team Viewer is like a good product, but like I don't think it's well, designed to be able to handle a frame rate like this. No, it's it's not. I want those ropes that landed on his head? There we go. Come on, crush, old Mac, crush. Yeah, that's right. You know how I like it. Woo! You see that sweet move? No, I, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. You just suddenly appeared above him. Yeah, I, I'm using that teleporter item. Yeah, he's like, not doing anything I want him to do. There we go. Okay, this, is, uh, this doesn't bode well. This part. Sorry I'm not talking very much. Oh. <laughs> uh. oh, God, there's so, like so many, many, so many Judes. <laughs> no, they're everywhere. That bee is gonna. Oh, oh, <laughs> dead. I didn't want to say anything. I just wanted to be silent and watch. Oh, that bee is just like doing things to you. I know it had its way with my corpse for sure. Oh, we'll do... that's 596. Um, some of them I've been doing on purpose, because if you hit a thousand, you get an achievement. No. Like, sometimes I just sit here and I'm like, I'm frustrated, time to kill a few minutes. And then I die, like, seven times. I'm like, well, that's, like, my daily quota. I mean, a lot of times I die on accident. Um, we'll just go through, uh, what should I do? Actually, I'll do a no gold run. So, I'll just jump on these spikes, and we'll start again. Um... Basically, one of the other achievements I haven't gotten yet is a no-gold achievement. It's where you go through the entire game from the beginning without picking up gold. Or gems. So, they, like, become another obstacle. At least they don't kill you. Well, I guess they kind of do kill you. Yeah, I know. It feels like you just have to start over. That's the... God. Stupid skeletons. If all the skeletons rose from the dead, it would be they would be much more predictable, and they'd be much less dangerous. Um, but it's like 30% of them. Okay. Ugh. I just, like, scratch myself. You know something I never do, I never do, ever? I never ask anyone else to scratch me. I... There's nothing over there. I, I don't, I don't think that's uncommon. I think that's fairly common. Me? I think you're the majority there, man. Well, I, I never say, like, my back itches. Can you scratch it for me? I never do that. Oh, I do that every day on the bus. You ask the person behind you to scratch I, you? I don't, I don't actually do that. Yeah, you do. I bet you do. Why would I do that? I'm sure I'll get... Because you're itchy. Know, some sort of disease. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, please scratch me. And that's just, like, a window for some perv to do something. Um... Man, the stories that I hear from some of my colleagues who go to, like, South Asia and East Asia being on buses, I wouldn't go there. I mean, I'm not saying that, like, the whole country is bad. I'm just noting that um, it seems like they have to take care of themselves in a special sort of way. Or else, you know, something bad might happen to them. Oh, God! Oh, I almost landed on gold! <laughs> 
Okay, hang on, what's down here? Nothing? I don't know, maybe I want to see if there are items over here or something. Well, that just seems risky, because now you're just going to land on some gold. Well, there is an item down there, but... Some gold. Oh, that gold bar landed right next to the crate. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just barely sitting on there. <laughs> I don't want those ropes anyway. Um, this is like... Okay, we have to go back up. <laughs> God damn. That was, a, that was a waste of a rope. I know. You're telling me. Ugh. Okay, let's get out of here. That level sucked. This doesn't bode well for Team Phil and AJ. My god, okay, so basically, I first met Phil at college, and the first semester we each took like, I don't know, five classes, and all of them were Halo 2. Like, our viewership, well, no, I don't know not, what... Not, not quite, because Halo 2 didn't come out until November. It felt... Ah! That explosion just shot a chunk of gold into me. Oh, I have two hundred dollars now. That's it. We're just suicided. yeah. We had we had a couple of months to play there to to actually try to be Do reasonable work. college students. I remember you had a Spanish class in the morning and eight a.m. It was fucking awful. I didn't have anything. <laughs> I, only, I only I took I took one. Well, yeah, you would walk into the our room at like two o'clock in the morning when I'm trying to sleep, and everybody and else would follow you and. And I, I guess I would talk to you guys in my sleep, and it was just... In retrospect, I was kind of an asshole doing that. I wish I hadn't done it. <laughs> but one thing, <laughs> one thing I am proud of is the amount of Halo 2 we played. And the best part about it was that, like, the entire dorm was network connected. What This this was 2005, right? Uh, 2004? It, it, came out, it came out in 2004, November yeah. of 2004, but I think most most people started playing it in, in uh, 2005. Yeah. And so, Where like, did all I those arrows come from? Uh, arrow traps shoot them out those, like, uh, little head things. Oh, it was probably uh, a frame rate issue. Yeah, it could have been. Um, but I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, I don't know how old our viewership is in general. Um, or, like... Oh. Um. <laughs> or like in what phase of their lives they're in um but like they, all they're, we they're did... watching you play spelunky on youtube i yeah. i think we can make certain um certain assumptions about them i don't know if you can i bet all of my fans are like 50 year old men that's what i'm gonna say right now yeah ah! leave a comment on, leave a comment on the youtube subscribe favorite <laughs> so it'll be a big help when I have, when I had uh, my friend Chris as a commenter, he's always like, "Sound off in the comments if." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, give us, give us a favorite, subscribe. It, it really helps us out. I actually, the, what what we have for our, our like uh, like request, it's like it really helps us out a lot. Like, because you told me that one time, but I, I looked at some statistics and it does actually help us. So I feel I, I'm just I'm just used to like the the. <laughs> the Call of Duty and the Battlefield videos where they're just like, okay, and we did this. Go ahead and give us, throw us a like. It, it'll really help me out a lot. <laughs> I know. It's just like a funny paradigm where it's like a 13-year-old who's like, let me show you how to sap, how to use like this exploit to stab someone when you're facing the wrong direction. Throw me a like. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, good. We're okay. Um, so does that piss off every merchant? For the rest like of the game. Is there some sort of merchant's guild? Yes! Or they're like a hive mind. Look at this, I'm like moving one pixel at a time. Son of an- <laughs> Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, all we did was pretty much play Halo 2 for a while, and I remember that Phil and I would just sit there, and... I'm trying to think about even that game at that point, where the levels like Ivory Tower, Zanzibar, Lockout. There was that, one, which there was was the that best. one level that was all blue that we knew like all the little shortcuts that we could take. It's got to be Lockout. I remember that I like. Was, was that Lockout? I don't remember. Well, there were a couple of guys from the uh, I think it was the Black Student Union, but they all lived in the, the same. Herb Netaboo. Yeah, 
Yeah, and so we'd play against a guy, there's a guy named Primetime who later played D-Herb, Primetime, and Netaboo. Netaboo may have been D-Herb's girlfriend, I don't know. It was D-Herb's girlfriend, at least for a while. I remember that one time we went down to the dining area, and we hadn't, like, seen these people. And then, like, they had a special dining area thing with student employees that were doing, like, some kind of pasta special or some shit. And then one of the women's name who was serving us was named Gwinetta. And we were like, oh my god, that's Netaboo. <laughs> and I always, always loved her and Randall's, uh, um, yeah, friendly rivalry, if you want to put it that way. Well, we all played on that shitty midship level that was like produced with the first like expansion or downloadable content that came out. So I was think. that the time when those two were just going one on one and everybody was slapping the shit out of each other right in the middle just so they could go one on one? Yes, and Randy, Randy was saying, uh, "I beat the man." With a voice mod on, <laughs> and that, that was, like, the guy down the hall. But anyway, the point was that some guy named Scott, man, I can't believe I remember all these people in who, who, their Halo handles. But who? Scott, man? Yeah, Scott, man. He just goes, hey, everybody, uh, let's all become, let's just all join the pink team, and then Netaboo will fight, I don't know, Randy's character, whatever it is. Well, this is this is after um, uh, Randy had pissed off Netaboo. Yeah. It, it was basically, there was an entire Halo politic. And um, what was fun about it was that we were basically always connected all the time. And, uh, oh, God damn it. I have to think about how this gold situation is going to work. Okay, good. <laughs> I was able to get out of the level before touching it. Um, what are you carrying? It's a freeze ray. It shoots things that do that. Um, anyway, uh, but I used to play one-on-one -on -one swords on lockout with prime time. I remember that. I remember, I remember that. It would be like I would get home from class and I'd be like, well, time to see who's online. I was like, nobody? And then prime time would join up because he would clearly be doing the same thing as me. Like, no one's online? <laughs> what the hell? You're like, I'm working oh, there were, on a There paper. were way too many nights when we stayed up, when everybody on there stayed up too late because there were 16 players and nobody wanted to get off to break the yeah. 16th player. Uh, Hunt and that guy named K, and then some name, oh, someone Kendrick? named Chris Meadows, I think, or maybe I'm making that name up. Yeah, but yeah, he, went Chris by he, was a, he was a real big dude that, that uh, brought around all the chicken nuggets that one time. Yeah, one time I sat in the toilet, I, uh, I was taking a dump, and... They had to spend all their extra meal points at the campus McDonald's, and so they just came and brought a trash bag of chicken McNuggets from McDonald's and just started tossing, like, six-piece nuggets under the, the bathroom door. Ah! Sorry, that's they, they, Didn't they bring, like, a garbage bag full of them or something? Yeah, yeah they just had a ton of them in a trash bag. I'm actually going to go down here and see if I can kill the giant fish. This is a disaster for sure, because there will be a giant fish down there. Are all of those fish... Will they kill you? Yeah, watch. Oh. Uh, you can sort of That's, lure this, them this over. This seems unnecessarily risky. Oh, God. Or do you have ah! to go down? Ah! There's Randy! <laughs> <laughs> um, so is that fish kind of like the uh, the ghost, only it, can, only it has to stay in the water? Um, it doesn't kill you in one hit. It just kills you quickly. I think I could kill it in one hit if I hit it with the freeze ray and then whipped it. But I think that's going to be certain death. Um, I, I will like go after this crate. It's mouth is just like rah, 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 all the time. <laughs> uh, God damn it. Okay, we got bombs. Whatever. I'm getting out of here. We lost two health fucking around with those piranhas. That was stupid. Um, yeah, I was just taking a shit in the bathroom and a guy with a trash bag full of six-piece chicken nuggets just started throwing them at me. And I was like, oh, thanks. I guess I'll have some. And I have to confess, I did oh, eat a nugget. There. I don't know if I'm... What? What are you saying? Oh, you cut out there, briefly. I didn't hear like anything you said. I was just saying that I ate a chicken McNugget while I was on the toilet when that guy brought them around. We've all had that moment in our life. Yeah. Um. Young money. Uh, oh God, I forgot about the young monies. I, I mean, I don't know what people's college experiences were like for the most part. Like, we were in like a big university with like a dorm that had mandatory requirements and so you know a bunch of the standard college tropes were met basically 
Um, well, except for except for well, on our side of the floor at least, the excessive drinking didn't really happen. Yeah, it wasn't that much drinking. It was more just playing video games nonstop with bloodshot eyes. God, I'm sucking. Except the, except the bloodshot oh. eyes didn't come from marijuana consumption. Yeah. Well, maybe Randy. I don't know. I don't probably know. not. I don't think so, actually. Yeah. Oh, gold. This is the worst. Uh, uh, oh, you paid $1,500. Yeah, that, that, that just sucks. Yeah, we're, we're doing this one more time. This will be the last one. Oh, what the fuck? Parachute? That's like the worst item imaginable. It just doesn't help at all. Um, I don't know. I guess it's not that bad. Ooh, almost picked up that gold. Yeah, I gotta say, I miss college a little bit. It's like I'm oh. still in it as a grad student, except instead it's a job. Yeah. Yeah, it, being a grad student just sounds miserable. Well, I still do all the things that I did as a college student, only now I'm too old to do them. Like eating peanut butter for dinner out of a jar with a spoon. Oh, I just, I just do that, but I'm a single male, so... <laughs> okay, well, I mean, you don't have to be single to do that. No. You can be married like me and still live like a bachelor. Hero trap. Uh, uh. There we go. Have you played Half Life One since that yes. time? I have not. Oh now, wait, since the time when you watched me play it? Yes. No, I haven't played it since then. With your finger on the quick save. So for all you people out there, sound off in the comments if you like Half Life One, and then toss us a like because it really <laughs> helps us out a lot. <laughs> um. I, I, I've been needing to play through, um, uh, what's it called, Pro, uh, Black Mesa, the Half-Life 1 remade in, in the Source engine. I didn't even know it was done. Yeah, they, that... they finished it, like, a few months ago. Oh my god, what am I doing? Um, really? What, not, not playing Black Mesa, or just in this game? Oh, in, in this game, I was thinking, what am I doing? But I guess, really, I should be asking, what am I doing with my life? I haven't played Black Mesa? <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I guess that Half-Life is awesome. And did you hear I that know. announcement about Half-Life 3? They finally just decided to cancel it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But that's probably actually true. That's, that's, that's some definite clickbait there. That game is like the stolen Mona Lisa. Like, I don't know, I just, I don't know what I'm trying to gold. say. Beat that gold. <laughs> ah! What the fuck? <laughs> just that scorpion. Oh, I thought it was an armadillo there for a second when he was all curled up. I don't think scorpions do that. They kind of look like armadillos. Ah! God, I knew that was there. I thought I could fall faster than it would hit me. That's terrible. Um, ooh. Let me just set off all those physics interactions. Um, okay, let's see here. This has already gone off. I kind of want to put this key in the treasure chest. Uh, but there's all this gold right there. Fuck this. Let's get out of this level. Avoiding gold is the worst. That's it. It seems like you're not gonna... You're just not gonna get anywhere on the leaderboard. Or is, what, what is... You said the challenge is just to get as high on the leaderboard as you can. Uh, that's what the, that's what the daily challenge is. What we're doing right now is just playing... There's only one daily challenge a day. So it generates a seed. And once oh, you're dead, you're dead. I expected there to be seven. <laughs> But, um, so for, <laughs> ass, um, for the, <laughs> for the daily challenge, God, there's like a, a Dracula right here. Under the ash graves will be a shotgun. So, see if I can get that, you know, the Bruce Campbell references. Uh, here comes this Dracula man. Um. Oh, the poor guy. Ah! Okay. But you're, Get you're ready to shoot him. Nice. It seems like, were there just like little birds around his, floating around his head? Yeah, that's to show that he's knocked out. You know, it's like it's, Looney Tunes It seems style. like the Dracula guys, there should be like little bats or something. That would actually be really cute. You should get a job for Derek Yu or whomever this is who crafted this fine piece of gaming history. Um, we have a cape now, which is a pretty excellent item, but we're only at one health, so for sure we're fucked. Um, Can you get health back? Yeah, but it's hard. You have to take one of these dogs to the exit like that. So I guess I'm going to be up to two at the after this level's over. Um, honestly, we have a better shot now with a shotgun and a cape. 
than we would have had we not run across a zombie level, but our odds are still pretty low. You're like an awful version of Superman. Yes. Instead of having powers, you just kind of float and you have a, a gun. Yeah, you have the power to die quickly. Oh, there's another dog there. Um, there's just gold everywhere, and I'm worried I'm going to land on it. Okay, hang on. What's down here? Okay, I think I can toss the dog down there. Awesome. He'll just, you know, chill. Now we can fire on these monkeys. Okay, good. Could this be the one, Phil? This could be the one. I don't but, know. Why are you going back at this point? Oh, you're getting I, that. I want the puppy, dog. obviously. I don't leave him there. I'm not like Fry from Futurama. Spoilers alert. I guess. I don't know. I don't even remember what happened in that show. I stopped watching Futurama, but I probably should go back and watch it. The final episode. This season was okay. The last season. The last episode was actually really good. Yeah, I imagine they had probably made sure it wouldn't suck. Look at this asshole snail. <laughs> I don't know, none of the episodes have ever just out and out sucked. There's been some that have been pretty not funny. Yeah. But they haven't been like, I'm not watching this show again. Oh. There we go. I was waiting for that. It took forever for that frog to- Oh! God, there's so many luchadors in this level. I guess they do look like luchadors. The cavemen? It's like they have yeah. big, thick lips. Either that or they're wearing a gimp mask. <laughs> oh, it's like they're just gimp men. I hear rushing water. Oh, good. We'll have a chance to hang out with that fish again if we want. The, hanging out with the fish just seems not worth it. It really when isn't. On, when you're going on a no-gold run. It's a pretty bad idea. There are, like, lots of items that are down. Fuck! I probably just oh, woke I... back you up, for sure. Oh. Um, man. That's depressing. Like, I, I just... I... I, I don't just, know I almost want to pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> well, the achievements will know. The achievements do know. We're gonna... We're just gonna kill these fish. Uh... Can you drown? Ah! Okay, 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 go. Um... Can you drown? No. Fortunately. I hit him with the bomb. Oh, and then I just blew up that prominent with a bomb. It's like fishing in New Orleans. Pretty sure there was an Archer episode about that. Redneck fishing. Yes. I, I haven't been watching that show. Something about Archer is hard for me to get into, even though I think it's really funny. I don't know really? what it is. I can. I've, I've watched I've like seen, the I've first. I've seen like episode. every one of those episodes like ten times. I've seen the first like three episodes ten times, and then God, there's so many little fish, and then I like never make it beyond there. Ugh. You need a bunch of those bombs. Yeah, bombs are pretty good in this game, and now we're out. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. God. Oh, dead. That fish oh, is my white cave. whale. That's my. Old man in the sea bait. Watch them all come to have their oh, way with my no. corpse. <laughs> yep. I bet I'll be bouncing around there for hours. Oh, you went over 600 deaths. Congratulations. Well, I'm glad that we all got to see that here live. Okay. Well, see you guys next time.